Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani, and today on Raised Line, I'm really happy to be joined by Marcus Osborne. Marcus serves as Senior Vice President of Walmart Health, where he is focused on furthering Walmart's goal of providing quality health care that is both affordable and accessible. So you have a pretty interesting background that I've come to know, uh, having spoken to you before. But for our audience, which is primarily current and future healthcare professionals, do you mind giving them a bit of uh, your, your own CV and your own words? Uh, yeah, I'll give you a short one. So I'm, I grew up in Kentucky. Uh, um, went to went to undergrad in Kentucky at a little school in Kentucky called Transylvania that people mistake for a school in Romania. Where I actually uh, thought I was going to go to law school. Instead, I went to D.C. I became a in, I was a White House intern, uh, but then that uh, allowed me the opportunity to I, I, uh, through the course of the work I did in the White House, I actually uh, left the White House and became went into management consulting, um, strategy consulting. Um, I, I did a bit, a uh, little bit of a stint as well at the Clinton Foundation, working on the HIV and AIDS work globally, uh, which was um, also kind of an interesting stint. And then I uh, went to HBS, and at HBS, I uh, watched all my uh, all my peers and section mates um, going. This was this was in the heyday uh, um, and of '05 to '07, and and um, watched all my peers going into these things called hedge funds and private equity and and going back into management consulting with big firms. And um, I couldn't quite figure it out because no disrespect to all those groups, but none of them produce or do anything, right? They all they all thrive off the back end of uh, groups who do actually produce, you know? And so for me, I'm like, well, I think I'm gonna go, go the exact opposite. So instead of going to San Francisco and, or instead of going to New York or, you know, Hong Kong or London or wherever it was, I said, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Bentonville. Arkansas. And uh, as luck would have it, when I had the opportunity to come to, to Walmart, um, when approached um, uh, about well, what areas do you want to go, you know, what area would you like to be interested in? I was, there were actually two opportunities put in front of me. And the irony of irony is neither one of them, I was not invited to go work in retail. I said, hey, I want to come to Bentonville and work for Walmart, the largest retailer in the world. And they said, well, we really would rather you we, we, we have our biggest need in healthcare or financial services. And I said, well, I definitely can't do financial services because I just badmouthed a bunch of people in my section about going to the financial services industry. So I guess healthcare it is. And so lo and behold, I, I've, I've had, you know, more than 13 years now at Walmart. You know, if you were to give advice to our audience, which is mostly current and future healthcare professionals, a couple million of them all around the world, you know, what advice would you give them about meeting the challenges um, of the COVID pandemic and beyond? Uh, and then is there anything else you want to share with that audience? At the end of the day, the healthcare is about the individual. It's about the consumer. Um, we have somehow convinced ourselves that that there are multiple interests that matter, that the, that the interests of the providers and the health systems, the interest of the payers and health insurers, the interest of the manufacturers, pharma and device manufacturers, that somehow their interests are are equal to and and peer to to those of the individuals and consumers and families, and I, and I think that's just fundamentally wrong. And not only is it wrong, I think when you use that as a basis to design solutions, you create bad solutions that ultimately don't work. So my challenge, I think, to everybody is forget the rest of those groups. How if you're trying to solve for a challenge, you ask the question. How does how does the solution that I've created, how well does it address the consumer, the individual's needs? And that I, that I will tell you that if you you do that, I, what I have seen over and over, and when you look, I, I can I have seen the solution, the solutions that come out that do that um, do appear to be much more successful, and they sustain. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.